Previously on Welcome to the Family. He says, well, I'll negotiate. I said, then we're buying. Unfortunately, Miami is full of people who like to stroke their own ego. Look at it! Now you just gotta learn how to drive a stick. Because that's how we do things around here. Anyone can entertain you, but only we entertain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Are you ready? Welcome to the family. We are in Palm Beach Gardens today. We are very far from home. It's about an hour and a half, two hours away from home. And we're on our way to a meeting. Everybody at the office keeps asking me, who is this guy he keeps spending some time with? His name is Victor Williams. And that's all I can tell you. Everything else is top secret. So the reason we keep hanging around with Victor is because we're planning on this event next year to create awareness for human trafficking. There's nothing being taught to the kids as far as um, safety information, especially about human trafficking at all, in the Miami-Dade County Public School agenda. I surveyed about 20, 25 different kids on, do you know what human trafficking is? Uh, taken. And I said, and what happens? I don't know, sex stuff, I don't know. And I was like, and what do you do if you get involved in that? Or suppose you get taken, what do you do? I don't know. What do you do if your friend is taken? Mm -hmm. What do you do? Or, you know, how do you, how do you find this stuff? Yeah. I, I don't know. Right. Then I already spoke to Miami-Dade County and I got an appointment with them for next week. You and want to go with you? If you want to, yeah, yes, that'd be great. I want to go with you. Because uh, that's the whole thing is I right. want to tell them, look, Homeland's on board with me. We want to do this concert where we're going to take the primary target, the kids 12 to 14 years old. So I'm going to reach out to all the Miami celebs. Okay and ask them, listen, we'd like you to perform one or two songs, and at the end of the song, we want you to do a five minute speech about cyberbullying or bullying, um, you know, staying in school. It's become a topic that we feel very passionate about in preventing it, and so we're trying to coordinate some activities to create awareness for it. I just need Victor there. I'm there, you can okay. count me in. So he gets to do all these special operative things that are really cool. So I asked him one day, I have something on my bucket list that I want to do. I want to jump out of a helicopter. <laughs> and he said, I don't know about jumping out of a helicopter, but I can take you to the gun range today if you got time. So of course we said, yes. For some reason, I've always been fascinated by the prospect of having long hair. I've had this for like, I've been growing it for over two years now. When I joined Boa World, Bert was all for it. He said, ah, go ahead. <laughs> and the reason why you can't see my hair right now is because I'm about to cut it. So this is the last night of long hair. Look at how freaking long that is. Long hair. Time to cut it. All right. Goodbye hair. It's been fun knowing you. So I'm on my way into the salon. Yes, I go to salons. It's time to cut my hair and rejoin the short-haired men of this world. You don't notice when, as a guy, you know, when you have short hair, you don't notice it all over the place. There's like, it gets everywhere. I don't know how girls do it. If I were a girl, I'd shave my head. Victor just invited us to go to the gun range with him. And he was asking us if we had time. And we're like, well, we don't have to be anywhere till six. So the answer is yes, let's go. <laughs> a block Bring in Hi. Hi. this part of potential new numbers. Awesome. You want to show them in here? Okay. That's pretty cool, yeah? A lot of people think that guns are not safe. What's not safe is the people behind the guns. He decided that he wanted to teach us the proper way of shooting. So, let's start over here. You always want to keep the weapon pointing down range. So, uh, when I'm shooting, and I want to talk. In this situation, set it down, then turn and talk. If you have to turn it, turn your body, not the weapon. This is a Glock 26, it's a baby Glock. It shoots nine millimeters and it's very small. It carries 10 rounds. If you, if you carry the magazine that fits here, it carries 10 rounds plus one, in plus one so you can carry 11. There's two ways to load the gun. You put your magazine in, you hit this magazine release, the gun goes forward, or you can, slingshot it back and, and let break it go your forward. finger. No, no, you won't break your finger. <laughs> a nail. I might break a nail on yeah, that one. The other part you need to know about is the trigger. This gun does not have a safety. 
the only safety that this gun has is you not pulling the trigger, no. right? And so a, com a common practice in law enforcement, anybody handling a gun, never put your finger on the trigger until you're ready to shoot. So you can always like watch movies where guys got the gun and you always tell people who are somewhat trained because they will always have the weapon like this. And the only time the, the, the finger would touch the trigger is when they're ready to shoot. It doesn't take that much time to do that. A lot of people shoot and they look at the target. Okay, I see the target, but it's not doing you any good if you don't know where the bullets are going. And the only way you know how to make the bullets go where you want is through the, front, the rear and front sights. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna look between that little hole right there, and you're gonna line that front sight in that little slot. So you have- and The front sight is what you align with that? Right, wherever you want it. Your focus gotta be here, and that has to be blurry. Shooting is two things, sight picture and trigger pull. Based on how much finger you have in, if I got too much finger, I could be pulling it, so my shots may be going to the right. If I got too less, I can be pushing. If I am anticipating my shots, you know, and you'll get a feel for that and hopefully you won't do it. So you want to get your palm right up in that slot. That's what it's for. You even have a place for your thumb to lay along the side. So you want to keep the finger off and get a nice grip. That's your grip. The second hand is that you want to either, how you can support. I have big fingers. So I usually wrap it around. There you go, I like that. You got, got your hand in there, you got nice support. And there you go. Now you never want to put your finger on this. You can put it along the side, because remember, this is moving, right? So give me a little forward bend. Now, I'm looking at your shooting. Your cross eye, your left eye is your dominant eye. So it's gonna throw you off a little bit. It would be best if you're right on, your right eye. That way you don't have to use your head. It's blurrier. What makes that blur? You don't have your contacts in yeah. or what? Yeah, I'm not wearing glasses. Okay, so. I never wear glasses. Right. You wear contacts? No, I don't wear anything. <laughs> so you just walk around blind all the time. <laughs> now you're locked up nice. So now I want you to put your finger in and shoot. Ah, now you see what you just did? Perfectly still. You did not move the weapon. And I want you to remember this. All right, yeah, now I know, shoot. It's going to try to go up on It me. is going to shoot. So you just pull the trigger. The gun shoot. I need that resistance. Okay. New haircut. Doesn't look much different because it's wet, but there's no ponytail tying me back. <gasps> Shorter. It's also very weird. I haven't seen short-haired Eric in a year, two years, a long time. Oh, hey! Oh! Look at you, yeah, man! Short right from the front, just short in the back. It's short. It's short. Turn. Wow. No, no, short. Yeah, short. The beginning, I was a little nervous when I was shooting because it's been a while and like the pressure from the trainer and the, and the whole thing and I was like, okay. Uh oh, there you go. I like that lean into you. Seriously. You almost hit it, but I love you kind of like lean into yeah, it. You're like, way. I'm going to put it there and look, you just shot just a little bit low to the left. Oh, I see it. Not bad. And then Valerie, it was her turn, and she's totally not into guns. You ready? No, but I'll do it. <laughs> that's, that's courage right there. That's courage. Yeah. Let's lean into it a little bit. So now put it right in there and pull the trigger when you're ready. Look at that. Finger off the trigger, set it down. I knew she would do it on the first shot. And her first shot, she hits a dead center. She's gonna be a natural because you know why? Your dad's you daughter. never shot before. Her first shot, that right always happens. Right in the red. Not my The loudness it. makes you nervous. I gotta scream at you more often. And what this is doing over here is making me jump. Are you seeing what? Oh, oh my god. Pretty good. So I was like. Well now, I must do better. Give me that gun. So then I was like, pew, 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 and I hit it all in the middle. <laughs> there you go. Look at that. <laughs> wow. Welcome to the family. I'm Val. Don't forget to like, comment, and share our video. And subscribe, of course. <laughs>